Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Lightspeed payments with the Verifone MX915 terminal on your computer. First, we'll need to assemble the terminal. In the box, you should receive the Verifone MX915 terminal, the communications module, a 12 volt power adapter, and an Ethernet cable. The device does require both power and an Ethernet connection, so make sure that you have both handy wherever you plan on setting up the terminal. The communications module will need to be inserted into the back of the terminal. To do so, begin by turning the terminal over. And line up the communications module so that these tabs face upwards. Slide the module into place all the way until the two tabs click into place. Connect the power adapter and the ethernet cable to the back of the terminal. and plug the power source and ethernet cable into a power outlet and ethernet port. Once powered on, the terminal will begin its boot up process and assuming it's not already connected to another account, you will end with this activation code screen. We'll need this activation code in order to pair your Lightspeed account with this terminal so that the two can communicate with one another. Now that the terminal has been powered on, we are ready to configure the gateway and pair the terminal. To do so, we'll click on Settings, followed by Payment Processing. Here you will see the Lightspeed Payments banner, indicating that your account is active and ready to process payments. Much of the configuration will have been done by Lightspeed. However, there are a few preferences that you will get to configure yourself. So let's click on the Configure button to get started. I want to talk about the lower half of the screen first, uh, particularly security options. With Allow Credits, turned off, that will require you to refund any card transaction back onto the original card used to pay for that transaction. If you want the option to refund to a different card, which would then be swiped or inserted, you will have to allow credits and enable this option. Partial approvals means that if a card doesn't have enough available credit or enough balance to cover the entire cost of the transaction, this option will allow you to approve just the amount that is available and you can then supplement the rest of the transaction using another payment type or another card. Credit card payment mapping will default to the options you see here where all of the credit cards go to credit card and debit card goes to debit card. But you do have the option of creating custom payment types for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, and then you can map those individually so that they are represented in your reporting as separate payment types rather than being represented all as one lump sum called credit card. Moving back to the top of the page now, the only thing left to do is pair the terminal. You can pair it with any of your shops, but so you'll select the desired shop and click the add a payment terminal button. You will then be asked to give the terminal a name. You can call this whatever you like, and I'm simply going to call it terminal. And then you'll be asked to enter the activation code that appears on the terminal screen. Once you've entered the correct activation code, the screen on the terminal will progress past that screen and for, uh, complete its boot up until it eventually finds its way to a logo screen. The terminal will also be listed as uh, attached to the desired store. And that's all there is for pairing the terminal and configuring the gateway. So now we're ready to conduct a test transaction to make sure that everything is working the way we want it to. To do so, we'll click on Sales, followed by New Sale. I'm going to add a miscellaneous charge of $10. And then here we can either click Payment or Quick Pay Card. It will ask me to select a terminal. We're going to select the terminal we've just added. Once selected for the first time, it will default to this terminal for all subsequent payments until told to use another terminal. So you only have to do that once. And then click Start Payment. Once you click on Start Payment, you'll be asked to complete the payment on the terminal. Simply insert or swipe the card. 
Select credit or debit as appropriate. Confirm the dollar amount. And sign the electronic pad. Once the transaction has been approved on the terminal, that approval will be sent to Lightspeed and you will get the payment approved check mark. You can then click Finish Sale. And there you have it. You are now ready to accept payments via credit card on your terminal. This concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.